and three and two and one. We last left off. We last left off here. Ah, with uh, pretty much a part two. Ancient Egypt being Alabama, Kentucky, Missouri, Tennessee. Uh, a lot of things showing us that. Uh, I wanted to put the image of it being a uh, heart of Egypt, something of that nature. Try to find something to look like the heart of Egypt without looking too pagan. Ah. But this started coming up and I saw this was kind of interesting. So it said heart Egyptian flag colors. So then I started trying to think, uh, wait a second. If I'm trying to find Assyria, Egypt, Pathos, Kush, Elam, Shinar, in the land of Hamath, then uh, there's got to be something that shows whom they are today, and then it's, that's where it came into what about flags? Uh, what if their flags reveal themselves? Uh, so, you know, this of course, you know, sounds like a broken record to some people, but, uh, again, this reminds me of conversation, I've, conversations I've had with Vincent, where we've looked at some of these flags and state seals, so, and we had the Alabama, Tennessee, Mississippi, Kentucky. And of course Missouri too, but um, that won't be necessary. Now, when I started looking in here, it said Southern United States. Now, somewhere along here, looking through this, oh, duh, came up first. So I went into this, and uh, said American South. And start naming cities. Uh, and it was kind of weird. Um, because <laughs> Delaware and Maryland are, are, oh, yeah. So, yeah. The Census Bureau region known as South. And if you look at this map, now, most people that are around my age, they're pretty sure the South. You know, is uh, everything below this line. Hence, where's where's North Carolina? Right? North Carolina is even marked as the, the South. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. So uh, look at all these states that they want to call the South, even Maryland, right? So again, I don't think the South is really divided by the South. I think that the, the uh, South is divided by uh, allegiance you know maybe maybe not I'm not sure so here are your different divisions if you uh want to consider the hunger games there's 10 vectors 10 sections um, it's a plan. Like I've always stated when I talk about RoboCop, it's a plan. It's 20 years in advance. Because that's the curb rate on technology. About 20 years. So, here's how the Census Bureau has broken it up, right? Midwest, Northeast, South. I know some dumbasses. What? Well, don't forget about the Deep South. Yeah, boy. Oh, boy. So, again, this took the route of flags. So,
once you uh start getting what you're looking at, I'll give you a hint. Right? What are the colors here? Don't pay attention to the symbols. The symbols don't mean shit. The symbols on the state seal matter. On the flag, the only thing that matters are colors and words and animals. And skulls. What colors do you see here? It should be simple for you. I have given my power. My wrath to the Assyrian. What colors do you see here? So. It was in 10, right? Chapter 10, we saw the king of Assyria and the glory of his high looks. So I don't that sound like Trump. <laughs> all right, all right, so let's go down here. And it says. Therefore, thus saith the Ishi Eloha of hosts, O my people that dwellest in Zion, where should you be? Be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with the rod. That means he will hit you. And shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt, like he is ruling you. For yet very little while the indignation shall cease. And mine anger in their destruction. That shit will only last for a heartbeat. It might be a month for us. Just a heartbeat to him. What colors do you see? What flag is that? What colors do you see? That's, that's the United States of Assyria. The fuck out of here. What's in the center? What colors do you see? You know, I know nobody wants to do this shit all day. All right. So. I'm going to go back here. Uh, where is it? Uh, look at all this shit, right? All these different flags are going to tell us something. Look at South Carolina. Palm trees in the moon. That's some Arab shit. All the things in South Carolina, that's what they put on there. That could mean Texas, that could mean California, no, it could mean the desert. But there's no desert in South Carolina. So where do we get to? A Syrian flag, U.S. flag? See, a Syrian flag in America, right? And, again, the American flag is the Assyrian flag. It's the same colors. Don't over focus on the on the pattern. Here is the Egyptian flag. Red, white, black. Now this states the Assyrian. Right? In eleven. The Assyrian first, then the Egyptian. So let's look at the Egyptian. This is the Egyptian flag. 
each time you see the bird, right? What is that? That's an eagle. That is a bird that feeds on the dead. That is a nation that feeds on the poor. Don't believe me? What do they do to the poor people here? Feed on them. If you feed the poor people, you'll go to jail and you'll feed the system because that's one more in the system too, right? Stay on the streets too long, that's loitering. You're going to the system and you'll feed this feeds off of the what? Dead. The socially dead. These symbols on flags are just metaphors for the action of the government. How many countries have an eagle? An eagle is just a fucking vulture. Okay, so pathos is Egypt, right? So pathos, Egypt flag. So something came up kind of interesting, right? When you look up pathos, and pathos refers to Upper Egypt, primarily, right? Uh, Thebid, uh, where it extends to Elephantine Fort to modern, right? Thebes, right? Thebid to Thebes. And I know the other uh, city I compared it to was Cookville, not Crooksville. Excuse me, sorry about that, but there there are some places called Crooksville, but the one we were talking about with the tornado in Tennessee was Cook. C O O K like a uh, chef. Sorry about that. So said Upper Egypt is a strip of land on both sides of the Nile that extends between Nubia and Don River. That's northwards. That would ju that'd be just like Missouri. Think about it. Those that live in Missouri, think about how the river comes northward. It flows northward. Into what? Little Egypt and Lower Egypt, excuse me, Lower Egypt, that's what it says. But we have Little Egypt, right? Or Upper Egypt, which is Illinois, and it calls South Illinois is Little Egypt because if you're rich, you don't live in a giant area with other rich people, you live in a small condensed area like a suburb. Compare a giant city with a little suburb of rich people. Now, how many suburb, how many rich people really live in the suburb versus just extended family? Now, you live in a city where many ethnos live, many different nations live. But if you just live somewhere with one ethnos, all the rich people will be living in the same kind of area because you get the same protection. So, Little Egypt is pretty much Upper Egypt. Now, again, from the map that they always showed us, Mississippi being south, the delta, does it flow? Which way does it flow? I'm not sure. I am not sure. If it flows towards... Well, again, it, 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 it really doesn't matter which way it flows, technically, because if it feeds the Gulf, then it flows into lower. And by the way the map would be from St. Louis coming down and around, that would be, that would be south. It wouldn't be northward, so I'm not going to go with that anymore. I'm going to leave that alone. just going to focus on that upper part. And that's where, we, you know, Upper always leads us to Little Egypt. So, let us move on. These are all African flags. Don't be a fool. So, here's Kushite's flag. What does that look like? Hey, just, just real quick. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> the robot knows my game. See, boom that drink, buddy. Oh, juice. So, Kushite flag, Ethiopian flag. Now, don't you see what's going on? The Ethiopians are right here with you. Mmm. But they're in Ethiopia too. Oh, yes, they are. Select people who live amongst you. You see it for yourself. I mean, how many nations have a five-pointed star? I mean, come on, people. You know, I just, just go over here. I had African teachers. I can't spell. Come on, this, this ain't that hard. It's a Moroccan flag. That's the Moor flag. Come on. Right now, the Moors who have not who the Bible says is to have nothing. Now it's revealed that that's their symbol. You see what happens when all you do is study. All the right. See, this is the same shit as that. Turn sideways. Turn this to where it's tw at 12 o'clock. Right now, it's pointed at what? Like 10 o'clock, 1030. Turn it to where it's 12. Right. Just look at that. It's the same damn thing. One, two, three. Oh, it's got too many. Oh, wow, that one stacks of triangles, and this one stacks of tw squares, and oh, I just, oh, it's so confusing, they're really just pagans, <laughs> a mexum, right, isn't this what they're always crying? Now, don't you get it, they're crying a mexum, because of what? The Book of Numbers. When the Israelites and Moors lived together after the Most High said, Oh, no. Oh, no. You can't do that by law. Where is the Mexican flag? See, this is what pissed me off. You just saw, there it is. Come on, show me the flag. The oh, piece of shit. Oh, really? It's not there anymore? So this is Moors trying to get back to the desert. They lay claim to everything. This has nothing to do with the Moors. They, they lay claim to everything. It's just it's an embarrassment. Every black man that ever existed was a Moor. Who is so foolish to say some shit like that? No, 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 there's some definition. Who controls that book? Hmm? Ancient Elam. Red and yellow, right? It's okay, they, they use a, a, a tiger, all right? I right, click on that. Right. No, good. So, red and yellow, right? So, you see, all this Tamil, all this stuff, it got reduced to just red and yellow. So you see my point? The images, to a great degree, they don't matter. Now, if you know what Tamil is, it's a language. Did I study too much? So there's a guy on YouTube that says that he can depict parts of the Tamil language, right? See, here go Moors. Oh, Sri Lankan Moors, right? Now it's people of India. India are Hamites. Moors are not Hamites. <laughs> no, no, they're intermixed. Oh, okay, so by which father? Man, right? So 
Moors who are of Shem, when you go, right, they're using somebody else's language, right, in another place. Fucking infestation, I tell you. So, flag of Alam, red and yellow, right? And here's liberation organization of Tamil, right? And so you have yellow, red, and black. Now, look at that. Yellow, red, and black. Now you got three colors, right? Yellow, red, black. Okay? So, let's go back a little bit. Kushite was in the scripture, right? Red, white, black. Pathos. Oh, we couldn't find a flag for them. That's right. Egypt. Red, white, black. Red, Kushite, red, what, you get it? Kushite, Ethiopia, one section, one sector, red, white, black. Egypt, red, white, black. Get it? So, uh, Tamil language, flag of Shinar, right? So they don't want to cough up the flag of Shinar too fast. So you got to go looking for it, right? So when you're up at the top, you want Shinar. And they're going to look over. See, they're, they're trying to make you think Shinar is China. We'll get to this. Because, again, China is Japheth. It's Mongols. Mongoloids. This is what the words of Genghis Khan say. Right? Genghis Khan say him kick them out. So, no. If the in if if the Indians are Hamites, right, and Shinar are supposed to be what? See, this is what people don't care about. They don't care to read. Every time I open a scripture, your own Bible should be open with a highlighter. To prove it right or to prove it wrong. Genesis 10. And six, the sons of Cham, Cush, Mizrahim, Hut, and Canaan, the sons of Cush, Seba, Havala, Sabta, Rama, Raama, Septeka, and the sons of Rama, Seb, Seba, and Dedan. Now, Seba and Dedan. Intermarried with the Ethiopian. And Cush begot Nimrod. And he became a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Ishi. Wherefore, it is said, even Nimrod, the mighty hunter, before the Ishi. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. So what does that say? In Greek, Babylon. And Erek, Akid, Kalna, and the land of Shinar. So. We have the Kushites. That are mentioned there. Of this comes Mizrahim, which we get Egypt. Now, Pathos seems to be the Canaanites from Pathosarum who who is uh, it says, and Casulum, these are three tribes, out of whom came the Philistium and the Cathorum. Now, the Cath pretty sure it's the Cathorum whom the Philistines came out of. Now, 
Now, at the end of the Canaanites, they bring up Hamath. And the way that they group it, they make it as if these brothers all live at Hamath. So I'm going to read the Canaanites, and then in the final verse is all the tribes that seem to be around Hamath. 14, and the Parth Rusium and Casulium, out of whom came the Philistim and the Cathorum. 15, and Canaan begot Sidion, his firstborn, and Heth, those are the, I believe that's the Hittites out of Heth, the Sidion is the Phoenicians, the Jebusite, Jebusite, and Amorite, or today is the Emorite, United Emorite Airlines. It is, it is not Moors. Basic teachings teach you that that is a Moor. Moors are from Shem. The Emir. Look at the flag. Green, white, black. Or red, white, black with the green triangle as we saw up here earlier. Cush. <laughs> See? Flags don't lie. People do. <sighs> and Canaan begot his first son, Sidian, his firstborn, Heth, and the Jubasites, and the Amo Amirites, or Amorites, however you want to pronounce it, and the Gergashites, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite. In verse 18, and the Archav... Excuse me. Arvadite. Arvadite. The... The root of their name is Vade, as in invade. Anyway, and the Zemirite and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. So, <laughs> these different groups seem to all be Hamites. All these Hamites, or Arabs, if one group of Hamites is Arabs, they're all Arabs. They're all seeming to be working against you. Uh, along with the Moors, Psalms 83. So we touched off with the flag of Shinar, and we never got to it. Let's scroll down. Eventually, it's going to show itself like all things tend to. And this started coming up, the Shinar Detective. We'll look at that in a second, briefly, just to cover. And you see this right here? <laughs> all things. This right here stands out like a whoop, whoop, whoop. Here, I'll show you. All you have to do is look here and scroll down, and it's right there, too. And I know, man, we're looking at flags, right? Come on, man, we're looking at... F That's a really weird-looking horn. We're looking at flags, man. Yeah, bro, sis. The Shinar Directive by the Shinar Detective. One's chasing, preparing the way for the son of perdition. Look at that. That's their goal. So the whole time, the Arabs are working their way against you for what? The rise of what? The man of perdition. Right? Their version of it? One coin? Two sides in a center? I don't know. News from Karuk County in far northern California, the Karuk tribe. See what you got there? That's a banner. Remember, an ensign is not only a flag, it's also a banner, right? Or a name, or it's this, or right? So, even on their hats, they got the little bolt. That's a, that's a basket, right? What do they do? They weave their flag into the basket. Right? See? All on the outside, see how it looks like that on the outside, but when you see it as a big stripe, 
Guess what it is? It's oh, sh it's a thunderbolt. It's a red thunderbolt. I can't believe you spotted that. That's how I spotted it right there. These Zeus worshippers. So, you know, okay. So that's when I started chasing this, and I was like, wow, I got it now. And then somebody else laid down some more cookie crumbs. See this? It's lightning, thunder and lightning. I'm on to it. I see what's going on. All right, so. And we had one more from the flag of Shinar. They gave us this picture, right? Because they want you to believe Shinar is China, but it's not. It's just not. Because if it was, we'd all be over there. If it was, and we were gonna all our, all our packages would be from there. We got a bunch of junk and toilet paper. All the milk comes from here. All the honey, all the tree products, rubber, syrup. Huh? Keep going, Lex Will. Resin. <laughs> Polyurethanes all come from here. They got tar from the ocean. We have tar lakes. Type in, f what, five natural tar lakes? Feel that lightning thunder outside? I do. So, there are five natural tar lakes, man. Right? Trinidad, that's below us, South America, right? The other three, the, <laughs> two are in Trinidad, the other ones are in what? California. They're all lakes. Hmm? Five natural asphalt, asphalt lakes in the world. Bitumen! Bitumen, right? Pitch Lake in Trinidad and Tobago. Right? It's just south of us, right? South, South America, Colombia, something like that. All right. Where's the next one? La Baria, California, right? Lake Bermudez, it's in Venezuela, South America, right? Tobago and Trinidad, what's that, the islands, right? McKittrick Tar Pits, California. Sepintria, right, is in Santa Barbara. Come on, people. The only fucking lakes in the world are here that consist of bitumen. Enough bitumen to tar the outside of a what? A tower? People. The Arabs are doing this to us. Arab. You know, and this is just the veil of Siddham. This is all bull crap. Just, just all a lie. A math flag, it's Hama, right? So, you know. Show you the Hamath flag real quick. Red. White, black, green. See a fucking pattern yet? <laughs> you see our UK flag taken over by their, given to them by their sons, right? Given to, excuse me, that they've given to their sons, right? This is the whole key. It's all right here. I said Hamas and they showed me Assyria. It's all the same. That's Assyria. That's the eagle. See what's going on? How are the Hamites holding the crown? <laughs> you don't understand it, do you? 
just, just not getting it. I deeply care about you. I want you to get it. Nobody else wants you to get it because the guy next to you is a, an Arab man. He's telling you he's white. He's telling you, oh, I have this history. and He's telling you he's European and all this shit. And it's all, it's all fa fabric, fabrication of you know reality. That's all it is. Pyramids in Cahokia, right? St. Louis, big ceremony in the south, right? St. Louis, South County, Wetland Valley. It's emerged after big earthquakes. St. Louis, North City and County, predominantly black. There's a huge mound complex. That's right. They spent two years trying to move them off of that so they could go, what, and start investigating the mound that, that they have all these people living on. They set up their projects right on top of the mound. Right? Ferguson is bordered by fluorescent French for a city of flowers. The Floissant. Right? Aboriginal translation, a city of ceremonial decoration people. Most high gave that. Gave me that. It's, uh, let's not forget South St. Louis is uh called Compton uh was this place where actual exorcist happened in the movie based on only it was a 14 year old boy it was uh Alexis brothers hospital where the room was uh he was bricked in and St. Louis University Hospital was an entire floor now bricked off uh, I was also there Ooh, I can go on about this explain a little uh, see uh read a book got a book all right, well, if you want to be interviewed, you know where to go. Shalom.